Hi everyone, so today's video will be uh, about me kitbashing this old model, Setra. He's such a cool character, but I always felt his model was a bit underwhelming. So I was on Instagram the other day, and I came across this fellow's profile, Logan Proudbeard. Uh, I recommend you follow him if you can, because he's got some great work and some great kitbashes. And look at this, it's really amazing. This is exactly what I had in mind, but I just didn't realize, you know, I could have used Glutos's model as his base. I still wasn't a fan of the horses, so I accidentally found this kit at my home in a box of shame. So these horses, I knew immediately they were perfect. It's like they're coming out of the ground, you know, just being reawakened, reanimated and immediately charging into battle. I also use bits from the Necro Sphinx and parts of the chariots and upgrade sprues from the main starter set. So this is the parts I'll be using for uh, Glutos's um, kit. I've uh, blue tacked the wheels on because I'll be painting them later separately and I haven't glued on the heads to the statues and uh, this part here I glued on later, I forgot to stick it there. Um, and then there's the snake part which I left separately for painting and the front part here uh, Which I'm thinking to add real chains so they can be attached to the horses um, I haven't glued that on because I want to um, I was When I kitbash I like to use blue tack first and I like to see how things look and how they um, line up before actually cutting and gluing some stuff on so for the horse, uh, I already based it, the horses, I based them. So I need to cut the front of the base of the horses. And I'm just measuring just to see if the whole model kit can fit onto the base. And it seems like a really good fit. It's the same size as the dragon base, the necro dragon thingy. Uh, so I'm using some um, putty, but you can use green stuff if you want to. Uh, and I'm just filling in the gaps. I want there to be some type of mound just to make it uh, look a bit more dynamic so I'm just squishing it in here it's not dry yet I'm just squishing it in filling in the gaps give, making it a bit raised and then uh, I will also do the same on the back of it too just to smooth it out um, so in a minute I'll add some um, texture paint onto it and cover the whole thing So I use this stuff, but to be honest, you can use anything, it's fine. I use this one because it's quite similar to sand. Well, it's actually called, uh, I think, desert sand anyway. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much sand. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just slopping it on all over the place, covering every part. And then it looks like this. Uh, as you can see, it's I'm pretty happy with it so far. The horses look like they're coming out of the sand and it's really dramatic looking and I like how the horse is coming off the edge of the base a bit you know, I think mean, it's pretty cool so this part here I can see there's some Slanishy demon symbols so what I'm doing I'm just scratching off the eyes and just smoothing it out with a hobby knife if you want to use sandpaper you can do that too um, this pit won't really be seen but it's still good to scratch it all off so you've got a nice smooth surface just in case um, some parts of it are seen so I add some liquid cement onto the front of it kind of melts the plastic so it smoothen smoothens it that's the right word, yeah. And then uh, this part came with the Necro Sphinx Dragon. Uh, I didn't make the Tomb King, I made the um, Lich Priest on it, so I didn't really need this part. So I glued this onto the front just to make it a little bit more worthy of a Tomb King. So this is how it looks. 
I've actually glued both pieces onto the carriage now so these are glued on and pretty secure and it already it's starting to have a nice look to it like a spear tip ready to crash into battle so this guy I um, he is from the uh, Bone Reapers also got Bone Reapers kit uh, and don't worry I'll put the name of the kits in the comments as well just in case um, so yeah with him he's just basically I've kept the kit the same but I'm cutting off his head right above his neck joint and he has some strands of bone hair and oh he just fell off the, uh, it's fine and glue on later actually this makes it easier so it's maybe it's fate <laughs> um, so yeah I cut off the head part and some of the hair and it comes off really well surprisingly I was a bit worried it might be a mess but yeah it comes off pretty well and then I just make sure no bits are sticking out and then I've also ripped off the back which was um, a gravestone or something I'll think of something else to cover the back this head is from the upgrade sprue or from the uh, Necro Sphinx crew sprue and it fits perfectly like his mouth is open he's holding a scroll and he's like tally, uh, shouting out like uh, oh you, if you don't leave our lands we'll take your heads <laughs> or you know bow to king etc you know. this guy is also from the Necro Sphinx uh, set I thought he looks pretty dynamic and he's kind of standing he's leg is raised so I kind of stuck his foot onto the side of the carriage I'm using blue tack now so it's easier to paint later I also found this um, like uh, scarabs flying around from the necro sphinx set as well so I'm cutting off uh, so I didn't glue on the heads earlier so I'm cutting off the ball part and this is like a random skull from the skeleton warrior set and I'm just cutting off the back of the skull like the top and the back of it just so now when I stick it onto the um, statue it's a nice smooth um, placement <laughs> yeah if that's the right word and also it was looking down a bit too much before so I want it to look up a bit so you can see the face so it looks like this I'm pretty happy with it it's a bit more morbid right uh, this is from the chariot kit, the sphere, the, the spears. And what I did, I cut off this skull part here, and then um, so it's nice. It's got it's flat now because it was kind of uh, bulging out before. And then I covered this side with glue. Um, just put it all on, kick it on, and then it actually slots in pretty well. Like it was a really nice fit. So I had no problem and just putting it here and there's not much cleanup to do. So I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this guy is from the chariot kit, but I used the head from a Necrosphinx crew kit. And what I did, I just put his feet facing uh, to the side and then I put the his body facing forward. I also glued on some heads onto these statues too. As I said earlier, this snake part is um, not glued on for painting purposes. These are from the chariots, and uh, these are quite useful for the whole kit. I had some different ideas, but I finally didn't choose to glue them in certain areas. So this part will go at the uh, will go at the front, and it slots right in between these these two parts here. It's a really nice fit, and I think it's a perfect. Um, symbol to make it look more Tomb Kings-ish so I hope you like it as well uh, these banners are from the chariots however the problem with the banners is the bottom part um, so if I just stick this on here at the back it fits very well the little clamp thing but the banners aren't facing forward so what I do I cut off the uh, bottom of the banner at the the rivets or whatever they're called 
and then I'll just carefully uh, cut them off and it's pretty easy, it's pretty thin, there you go, flew off and then I just um, cut it a little bit more like I scrape it and smoothen it off so you see here it's a bit rough now so what I'll do I'll cut them off and then tidy them up and then I'll just position it in a different direction so that way I can glue it to the side of the um, ca carriage and then have it facing the right direction uh, this is the new Tomb King from the set and I want it to be standing on the steps so I put on a, skull, a random skull under his foot so here we go and to make it look a bit less weird I put other skulls there like animal skulls maybe the skulls of his um, foes I haven't glued him on yet either for the blue tag there or for painting so I'm pretty happy with this so, so far it's, uh, I was a bit worried it would look a bit too horny um, so yeah this is from the Necro Sphinx kit uh, maybe it can tow other chariots along if they break down no, I don't know. <laughs> it looks cool anyway like a trophy kit um, these parts again from the chariot I had a few more spare so I just put them here again I didn't glue them because I will want to paint behind them later uh, these parts here are, I forgot about the so slender symbols so originally I was going to use this and make cut it into squares like a mat but then I thought use sand texture it's come out the ground and what I'm going to do is it's a bit of a lazy way to hide it to be honest but um, sand has collected because um, it's been underground right so I, I thought I'd use that as a way to obscure some of the patterns of Slanesh uh, same for the wheel you can see the Slanesh symbol so what I did I got these two pieces so these are from the banner the, I think the upgrade banner for the warriors cut off this little fabric part and then I glue them together and then I cut off the spikes around the symbol and I also cut off the um, like I followed the direction of the symbol and I just scrape off the top of it I don't need to get rid of all of it because it'll be covered anyway and then I just glue it on here like that so it's pretty easy and I also covered the holes with scarabs from the Necro Sphinx um, set and I used the head of a tomb guard I think or the Necro Sphinx set uh, to cover the holes and I think it looks pretty cool um, that's it really I hope you like it and here he is